Um, the first thing I would say to anyone wanting to be an actor is learn as much as you can. So for me, I was really lucky and I went to Flinders Uni Drama Centre. I graduated just over 10 years ago, which is very weird. Um, but I was there for four years and I learned so much. Uh, when I got in, I was 18. I was a total baby, had no idea what I was doing. And it was such a great place to flex my muscles and make mistakes and just throw ideas at the wall and see what stuck. And I, I learned um, so much there about not just acting technique, but also creating my own work. So I had some amazing lecturers and learned all about devising and theatre making, and that has become a huge part of my practice. So I'm, I'm really thankful for that. Advice that I would probably give to my younger self, say, yeah, 10 years ago when I graduated, is to remember what it is about me that makes me unique as an actor and to hold on to that. I feel like when I first graduated, I was so desperate to get work and so keen to be liked and be uh, an every actor, good at all the things, that I did some really, really boring auditions. <laughs> um, and then I realised that there's no point in me doing an impersonation of an actor that I admire. Uh, for example, why would they hire me to do an impersonation of uh, Lizzie Falkland when they can just hire Lizzie Falkland? <laughs> so uh, that was a really good realisation of going, oh, hang on, they're getting me to audition because they want to see my version of this character. And I feel like when I started doing that and when I stopped caring about being liked and just cared about the work and telling the story and how that story resonates in my body, that's when I finally started getting jobs. So I would love to have told that to myself 10 years ago. <laughs> All I can speak from is my personal experience. Um, I went straight from high school into acting school. Whether that was a good thing or a bad thing, it remains to be seen. Um, but so I studied, I studied at Flinders Drama Centre. And for me personally, and it's not for everyone, but I did respond to training really well. And I learnt a lot and I owe a lot to my training and it was really hard and the contact hours were long and it was a four year course and so it was a big commitment but um, I really responded to the training and the rigour of it um, and it really opened my eyes up to experimentation and to hard work and to, to the work ethic, to writing and to reading and to seeing stuff properly and, um, and so I really liked it. Uh, so that's, that'd be one thing I'd say, if you, if you really are serious about maybe becoming an actor or um, that I would seriously have a think about training. I would also say, uh, see as much live theatre as you can. Um, engage with theatre companies, engage with arts in general. Um, just try, your, try and fill your head up with good stuff and try and fill your heart with kind of stuff that moves you and interests you. Watch films, watch, yeah, um, just voraciously kind of just devour that stuff. Um, think about how, why, think about maybe why you want to be an actor. That's probably something I didn't do enough of. That's probably something I would say to a, maybe a little bit, a younger me, like, think about actually why you want to do this. Think about what you would want to bring to the industry or, or what kind of little niche you want to carve out? What stories do you want to tell? What part do you want to play in this sort of bigger thing? Um, and maybe this is for a little bit later on. So let's say hypothetically you've, you've trained and maybe you've even graduated. The next thing I would say is find artists whose work moves you. I'm talking mainly locally, I suppose. Um, but not necessarily actually, there's lots of resources to, to work and to study and to learn overseas and interstate, but um, locally is a good place to start. Find artists whose work moves you and interests you and challenges you. And like, go see a play by some director and be like, I wanna be in that play, I should be in that play. Like, that, I reckon me and that director will get along sick and like, or when you read a play that's by an Adelaide writer or a writer from your hometown or a writer from city, whatever, and, it, and you respond to it like, hold on to that because as you progress in your career, if you can nurture artistic relationships, that's what will make your, that's what will make your output interesting. That's what will, 
if you nurture creative relationships early on um, in your career, um, it'll come to fruition. Good stuff will come from that. You should hold on to good creative, you know, and even if there's someone interesting and creative from your know, high school or from anything, like hold on to those people because yeah, they're good, they're good for you. If you're good for each other, that's good, yeah. <laughs>